Intense weather this week has meant tree branches where we don't want them. But before you call a tree removal company, they have a message for you. Kellerland's Dan Santella takes a look on the night beat. Dan? Good evening, Don. Today I met with Kirk Wellman, owner of Wellman LLC Tree Service, as well as TJ Gnifke, general manager of Action Lawn and Tree Service. Both, as you might imagine, say they've had a busy summer. Wellman brings up the value of taking action ahead of time. What we like to do is be proactive, get us out here, preferably not right after a storm, and we can kind of look at your trees, and a lot of this can be prevented by uh, proper pruning when the trees are smaller and before, uh, before they fall on houses and roofs. He says it's a good idea to have your eyes peeled. Keep an eye out for like branches that are over your house, cracks in your tree. I mean, take a look up at them once in a while. It's a sentiment that Knifke shares too. Even if you don't think you got hit by the storm, look around, you might see some hangers out there that you didn't know. And there's a lot of trees out there that are kind of half rotten. It's easy to appreciate the scenery a tree can give. But as Ganifke points out, there's reason to be wary. A lot of these bigger, mature trees close to the house, a lot of the homeowners are saying, ah, I really love the shade out of this tree. And I get that and I agree with that. However, I've taken well too many of these trees off of houses, out of kitchen tables, out of bathrooms. I'm and something to bear in mind as we look ahead to the weekend, there's a chance for thunderstorms, it looks like, on Sunday night.